Please. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you. So we have come to that part in the afternoon where we're going to hear speeches from three of the gentlemen on the on the top table. But before we get into the speeches, what did you think of that meal? Wasn't it fantastic today? Put your hands together, please, for the staff here at Games Park, Victoria, and a whole team of people working behind these walls. And also, uh, to the pride and group for choosing that delicious menu, so thank you all very much. Yes. So our, our first speaker, and in fact, when I, when I introduce all the speakers, ladies and gentlemen, please get behind them with your applause and appreciate every word that they, that they say to you. But our first speaker had the honour of walking his beautiful daughter down the aisle today to marry, yes. <laughs> to marry the love of her life, ladies and gentlemen. Please put your hands together. Let's welcome Frank. <laughs> today. Uh, for anyone that doesn't know me, I'm Frank. Well, Frank. Uh, uh, um, and I'm losing it already. Uh, and I'm Natasha's proud dad and Luke's brand new father-in-law. And uh, if their names don't know nothing to you, you're at the wrong wedding. So right, let's go. So as a father of the bride, I felt sheer panic at the thought of walking Natasha down, down the aisle and then delivering this speech. For those who don't, for those of you in the room that were at Luke's stag do, you get this, I brought a lot of Dutch courage. <laughs> a lot of Dutch courage. From the stag. And I love that, so I thought I'd just bring a souvenir back home. <laughs> right, back to Tash. <laughs> I remember when Sarah told me she was pregnant with Tasha, I couldn't stop smiling. May have had something to do with the Fosters, I don't know, but I am. <laughs> but it was February the 14th, Valentine's Day. And from that day, Tash, you had my heart. Aww. You had my heart. Becoming a dad, for the first time is a proud and emotional moment, whether being a son or a daughter. And uh, I don't know, I've lost myself, I don't know. So walking my little girl down the aisle this afternoon, I couldn't have been much prouder. And um, when I walked upstairs and I looked up, she broke my heart. Aww. And she looked absolutely stunning. <laughs> uh, I know you say yes, but it is true. And like me, I've seen what she looks like when she's gone out with the girls. And at the end of the day, she does scrub up pretty well. <laughs> so, at the end of the day, there you go. Um, but you'll always look gorgeous in my eyes, definitely. From a young age, Jess showed strong personality, and you always worked hard for what you wanted in life, whether being your career, a home, or a holidays. Tash always set her goals and went for them. And to be honest, we couldn't be prouder of everything you've achieved. And the strong, lovable, funny woman you've grown into today. We love you lots and lots and lots and wish you both much happiness. I remember meeting Luke for the first time and thinking what a remarkable man he was. <laughs> I've got Paul. 
And you could see how much he loved Tash. I had a great ch chat with him and distinctly remember us chatting about he was supporting the wrong football team. <laughs> uh, um, I also remember Tasha suggesting he, move, he moved in for nine months and so they could save for somewhere to buy. So after three years later, <laughs> we worked to move out and changed the locks just in case <laughs> I decided to come back. Uh, um, and there, there was the time Luke asked me to uh, ask Tasha's hand in marriage. That was uh, quite a funny day because uh, a lot of people know that I like to go on my wonders and go for a beer and everything. And we was in a lovely sunny area abroad and all I wanted to do was buy a bag of ice. And um, Luke went, I'm coming. I went, no, you're all right. He said, no, I'm coming with you. I said, no, you don't need to come with me. You're all right. <laughs> he come along and uh, he asked for his hand, in his, uh, his hand for marriage for Tasha, which to me is great family values, which is accommodation for Bill and Jeanette, which is absolutely fabulous. Um, but then at the end of the day, I still had buy a beer. Um, <laughs> so, for the words of wisdom, I can give you both as you start married life. Just have fun together. Laugh about things. Life has their ups and downs, but it's being strong together and seeing the funny side of things. And remember, Luke, she's always the princess. Yeah. <laughs> Tash, I'm so proud of you. Uh, I'm so proud to be your dad. And it's great to be, a great pleasure to welcome Luke into my family. And yes, Luke, I'm officially your father-in-law. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, would you be upstanding? Hold on. Hold on, there's the first. So, listen, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for coming. And I hope you've enjoyed the meal. Again, like Terry said, the meal was beautiful. And it was lovely. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we'd be upstanding and join me to host a happy couple, Tash and Luke. Right, that's done. <laughs> <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, come on, let's hit it. A very proud, emotional father of the bride. Go! Go! Well, our, our next speaker really needs no introduction, but he is going to get one because he began the day as a bachelor and he's about to address you all for the first time as a newly married husband. And for that, I don't think he just deserves a round of applause. I think he deserves a standing ovation. So if you can, please be on your feet. Give it up for the man of the hour. You're far too kind. Well done, baby. Oh, I've got a heart attack. Right. Is that Jinslin? <laughs> <laughs> firstly, can we all agree how beautiful my bride looks today? Yeah, so since we have had this wedding book, Tash has kindly reminded me over and over again that nobody actually gives a shit about my speech. <laughs> So it's going to keep it nice and short. And I can also imagine that actually most of you are shocked that I'm not doing this speech from the toilet in there since I spent half of my time on the toilet. Now, so for everyone here, I go under many names, it seems. Luke, Scouse, and most famously, Machine Gun Lukey, number one rebirth player in the world. Thank you very much. Thank you, Big Daddy. Thank you very much. Bridesmaids, 
you girls look fantastic today. Oh. <laughs> I want to thank Rachel so much for everything you've done for Tash and lead up to our wedding and always be always being there for her. Even for me when I need to try and buy Jake's birthday presents. <laughs> you know, the hen you planned was amazing. Not quite as good as my stag, <laughs> but it was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> How dapper do my groomsmen also look today? That's amazing. Jake, thank you, brother, for planning the best stag do. Being your friend since I was able to remember has been an unreal journey. Who would have thought that we would both be getting married four weeks apart from each other? I just want to remind you that whatever you say today might come back to bite you at your wedding. <laughs> since me and Dodson are going to plan an amazing speech. I want to thank my mum and dad who look absolutely amazing today. Especially my dad. I want to thank you for raising me in the right way to be able to one day call someone as beautiful and kind and thoughtful as Tash as my wife. Thank you for always being there no matter what for us at a drop of a hat. This really does not go unappreciated. And I know you both are losing your memories with old age. So I really hope as you both are recording this to remember what I've said. Absolutely. Frank and Sarah, thank you for everything you've done for me and Tash since we've been together also. Thank you for also letting me live with you guys for three years, and like Frank said, he only thought it was going to be a few months. Thank you for bringing into this world my dream girl and raising her to be the special lady she is today. I have to also add, Sarah, there will be no music battle between me and you tonight, as there always is when I come round. <laughs> I also want to thank Gaines Park for hosting the most amazing wedding, and I want to thank the chefs for the most amazing food you've put on today. I think they all deserve a round of applause. <laughs> I also want to thank every single one of you that's here today. Although you might not even know it, but at some point, whether me and Tasha, me and myself or Tasha, have been going through a dark time. You've always been there, one way or another, so thank you, everyone. Yeah, ignore that part. Right. <laughs> now, my beautiful bride, where do I start? I think we should start with some shots. Now, we are husband and wife, this is something you're going to need to improve on. You are very well known for either sipping your shots or giving me the other half. So I've got us two shots to start our marriage the right way. You two can put this crazy year behind you. You coming out of a relationship and myself saying, who would have thought in the wonderful Oyster Bay in Canvey Island that my future wife would look at me and tell me I look like Peter Crouch. <laughs> Causing me to do the robot, to look up, and you had disappeared. I'm so fortunate to have my best friend and wife in one. Whenever I'm slightly down, you instantly sense and completely change my mood for the better. Although this, this does seem to cost us an incredible amount, some way or another. I love you for being the clumsy woman you are, from falling off trains when you're drunk, to tripping over curbs when you're sober. On Friday, I'm pretty sure you nearly blinded yourself, while squirting lemon in your eye, rather than on your food. My bride has always backed me in whatever I choose to do in life, 100%. Whether that's taking a risk, taking a new job, or becoming a pro golfer, which after my last round, Jake, I'm pretty sure you can, uh, you can agree that that's gonna happen. <laughs> or, or whether it's becoming the number one rebirth player in the world. Yeah! Thank you very much, Danny. Can you agree? You can agree. Rebirth number one. Thank you very much, Will. You know, Tash, you've always been my number one fan, and for the rest of my life, I will always be yours. I'm so proud of how far you've come in your career, being able to see from the very start of our relationship the hard work, effort you put in, and how well thought of you are by your colleagues who are here today. <laughs> it's been a pleasure celebrating every promotion you've got. I cannot wait to be a house husband soon. Oh, 
But we have had our tough time. Go on, Lou. Good, mate. Good. Come on, Lou. said you don't want me to bring it up, it's a huge part of our lives together. But unfortunately we lost our second child, which my god how dramatic that was. The toughest part of the whole thing was walking away with your engagement ring in my hand, not knowing if I'd ever see you again. Can't even say. <laughs> Go on, mate. You're on, mate. You're going. Now, I loved you a hell of a lot before this happened, but I feel like since that moment you was nearly taken away from me, my love for you has reached new levels I did not know could exist. However, it was not all doom and gloom, as we now have one child, which for as long as you know he is in our lives, he will be the only child. And for those that don't know, that is our Pablo. And to be honest, his cost us more than a child so far, I'm sure. So on that note, can we please raise a glass for my beautiful bride, and please raise a glass even higher for Audrey and Jack, who are watching from above, and I know they'd be so proud of you right now. Cheers. Cheers! Well done, Luke. Well done, Luke. And now over to Greg, and it is a tough crowd, mate. It's a tough crowd. Very tough. Incredibly tough. In, enjoy. It's that the intro? Sweet. Wow. Two nice speeches. Mine's not that nice. Ouch. Well done, no, man. That was, that was hard work and done very well, didn't I? Very emotional as well. I've even got blurred vision, so bear with me. Um, good evening, everyone. For those who don't know me, I'm Jake, Luke's best man. Um, <laughs> I'll tell you what, yeah, Luke actually, never actually asked me to be his best man. He never asked me a question. He just completely told me, you are my best man. So I actually had no choice. He might regret it in five minutes' time, though. Um, before I check some truth about Luke, um, can we just appreciate the bride today? Tasha, you look absolutely amazing. I'll tell you what, picturesque. If you could ever paint the bride, that picture of you and Frank walking down the aisle, that is it. That is the end. Absolute damage. Your hair is on point, as always. You know I love your hair? On point. Beautiful. Frank and Sarah, you must be so proud. You've already said it, Frank. I hear you. You must be so proud. And the groom, Luke, well, Jeanette and Bill, let's just say you tried. <laughs> Look dapper as ever, mate. You're tucked. Look at it. Unbelievable. You look a million dollars today, mate. I'm jealous. Also, I wore the velvet. <laughs> the bridesmaids, great choice of bridesmaids. Where are you? Dotted around. Absolutely stunning today. I mean, I even put a ring on one of them myself. So, you know, no, no, seriously. No, seriously, you all look, literally, you all look beautiful today. And thank you for making Luke and Tasha's day so special today. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. The groomsmen, where are you all? We've dotted around again. Legends, absolute legends. Thanks for keeping us in check and drinking all the alcohol. <laughs> so, part of my job today, I get the task of saying a few words about today's main man. I can honestly say he's one of the most handsome, most funny men I've, I've ever met. Okay, and I'm proud to call him my friend today. So, if you do bump into Frank, please do bring him a drink. He's a great guy. He deserves it. Seriously, what's it like? No, in all seriousness, I've known Luke now for 28 years. It's as long as I can remember. Um, we've been play school together, nursery together, infants together, juniors together. Sleeping together. We actually used to, yeah. The heaters, midnight, Jeanette will bring him in, playing video games, yeah. Sleeping together. I don't think we actually bring him in. But yeah. And um, we went to seniors together for a short while until he thought I didn't have scars and had to change schools. It's a story for another time. But I can tell you if you want me to. Uh, <laughs> seriously, he had to change his pants and the school. Um, True story. Yeah. 
a true story. No, it's just it's safe to say that we basically speak to each other every day. I think that's safe to say, isn't it? To Tasha, it must be like in a third person relationship. Yeah. Yeah. Someone, some obviously agrees. Uh, I mean, she must have known it wasn't a coincidence that Luke actually wanted his wedding on this specific weekend, which, as it happens, is the closest weekend to my 30th birthday. Double celebration of that. Luke, great job. Great job, mate. Love it. Tuxedo for my birthday. Brilliant. Absolutely love it. So, I remember when Luke first met Tasha. In fact, I was actually there. And yes, she did say he looked like Peter Crouch. And two, he did do the robot. And three, he did walk, she did walk away. <laughs> now look, bloody hell. So growing up, Luke has had the nickname Scouse. So I've called him Scouse all the time. So if you hear me shout out Scouse tonight, yeah, it's probably me. Um, and if you're, off, you're thinking why, I mean, if you spoke to his old man. <laughs> um, you know, yeah, exactly. I mean, growing up from the age of six to 15, I don't think the geezer left his house without wearing something to do with a little ball or kicking a football or any object without shouting Gerard. <laughs> true fact? Very true. Yeah. So our journey as best mates has been awesome. Plenty of memories. We've been on holidays, weekends away, nights out and many more, uh, which is where some of our favorite memories have come from. I mean, I'll never forget our first lads holiday, which is to Ayanapa. Um, being 18 years of age, or just turned 18 years of age, I don't think all of us were 18, um, thinking it would be cool to buy a bottle of champagne on the plane, <laughs> as you do, probably spent half of our spending money, um, but consequently losing one of your teeth while sipping the champagne <laughs> on the plane. He thought it was hilarious, I was like, oh my god, first hours of the day, you are not pulling. Um, he then flicks his tooth down the plane, which is the passenger's head in front of him, bounces off his head and lands back in his champagne. Seriously, how's your luck? How is your luck? Seriously. Um, like I say, growing up, it, we just bounced off each other. I think if anyone knows us well, people look at us and what the hell are they talking about? We just literally, I don't know, in our own world. Mainly just daring each other, or really me daring you to do things, and you probably actually do that as well. Um, I never get bored of watching him just unexpectedly bombing in every swimming pool he sets his eyes on while shouting cheers. <laughs> Even including my two foot swimming pool or paddock pool in my garden. No wonder you've got no knee ligaments. So, growing up as a teenager, we actually lived on our bikes, as you do. Um, I'll never forget the time when someone videoed him launching his brand new bike into a bush, which then appeared on Facebook and his mum finding it somehow. And then him going home and denying to his mum endlessly that it was not his bike, it wasn't his bike. Jeanette, we're sorry it's taking this long, it was his bike. Sorry, mate. There's so many drunken memories. This would be one of them. Um, I think it was actually, I think I was actually a person that introduced you to beer and alcohol. Yeah. Yeah, I think you, uh, yeah. I got you drunk the first time. Yeah, take that one. Um, one memory in particular is where we were so drunk, we both couldn't move. Um, having to call our missus saying we were lost, both of us. We were so drunk, we were saying we were lost. Can you help us? It was asking missus to help us, but we're, we're lost. They were quite concerned because it ends up we were just in my garage next door. <laughs> I think we called the girls to the concern that night. <laughs> I'm sure most of you know Luke's dad just took place in Prague last month. Yeah. We've even got some memorabilia here. See that, Frank? Yeah. Brilliant. No, it's, it's a fantastic trip. Absolutely blinded. Um, Luke loves playing video games, if you didn't know, from his speech. Yeah. Yep, yeah, exactly that. He, he plays so much Call of Duty. Sasha, don't you know it? Yeah. He constantly claims that he is the number one ranked rebirth oh, yeah. player in the world. Oh, yeah. So I thought it would be a good idea to take him to a real shooting range in Prague to shoot an AK-47, an Uzi and a shotgun, which was quality. And I'll tell you what, he was annoyingly good at that too. I wish he was shit, I was a bit of a um, but like I said, I can honestly stand here and tell you loads of stories about Luke, how funny this guy is, what a great guy he is. But one, I don't embarrass him anymore. And two, I don't want to give him any more trouble, Jeanette. Um, but I must say, Jeanette, if it weren't for you, we wouldn't have these bow ties on. And they are not clip on the stash. These are real bow ties. And Jeanette, you spent hours and hours and hours on your teddy bear. 
practicing how to do it to tell tales. So big shout out to you. I didn't know you could build a teddy bear to be fair. But now I do. <laughs> but Tasha, like I say, since coming into Luke's life, he certainly fell in love. And I can honestly say I've gained a really good friend. You are an absolute diamond. Luke, thank you so much for choosing me to be this man. It's been a privilege today. You are like a brother to me, such a caring and kind guy. And I can honestly say there's never a dull moment being around you. I've definitely got the best seat in the house today sitting next to you. You've had me in stitches. Uh, I wish you both nothing but happiness and success in your future. So on behalf of all of us here today, we'd like to thank you both as the new Mr. and Mrs. McQuillian for allowing us to share this amazing moment with you and let the celebrations continue. So would you all join me in raising your glasses and standing up to not only the wonderful couple, but to the many happy years of marriage I wish for them. Cheers! Cheers. <laughs> Let the celebrations begin. Thank you. Well said, Jacob. And ladies and gentlemen, can we also appreciate Luke as well? And of course, Frank! Hang on, hang on. Yeah, I know, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, that brings this part of the celebration to a, a, a wonderful close. In a moment, I'm going to invite you all back over to the Orangery where Luke and Tash got married. There's a cheese board there as well, and I think drinks. Yes, yes, yes. Um, you're, you're welcome when you head over there to take any drinks on your table as well. But please also take your belongings because we're going to turn this space around and get it ready for an awesome party. Now, um, Tash and Luke, can I invite you to stand and to make your way, please, to the end of the top table? Ladies and gentlemen, I'm about to ask them to make their way back over to the orangery, uh, and you're going to follow them. You were amazing when you welcomed them with your swirling napkins. Please shake them open again one more time. Will everyone please stand as our bride and groom make their way back over to the Andre Natasha. <laughs>